Good morning, everyone. I'm Katie. Welcome to my channel. I just woke up a little bit ago and I'm about to get my day started. It's super rainy outside, which is kind of upsetting, but it's supposed to be super nice the next couple days, so I'll put up with it for today. It's also making it super dark in here, though, so I'm going to turn on some lights. There we go. Okay, so I have a pretty busy day today. I think I have a lot of work that I want to get done, so I probably won't be vlogging much while I'm actually working, but I do have some fun things planned today that I wanted to film for you guys. I think I'm going to be doing some more bleach tie-dyeing this afternoon. I have some tank tops and I wanted to see how they would turn out. They're different colors, so I wanted to see what those would look like and plus it gives me something fun to do this afternoon. But yeah, so it's the first of the month today, the first of May, and uh, starting today, I am on my own car insurance policy. I'm off of my parents because, long story, but basically the car insurance that the rest of my family has, they don't have, the company doesn't cover Massachusetts, so I had to find something else to go with. And <laughs> so my dad just took me off of that policy policy and he just texted me he said what did he say he said you're gone and your little car too making a little <laughs> wizards of oz reference he's oh gosh he thinks he's so funny okay but anyways uh yeah i'm just gonna be getting started with my day getting started working so i'm going to leave it off here for now and i'll check in with you guys when i'm taking a break hi guys Sorry if the dishwasher is extremely loud. I'm currently getting ready to work out, just putting on my shoes. I'm on day 10, I think, of the Chloe Ting two week challenge. Ready for it to be over. It is a really good challenge and a really good workout, but getting a little repetitive now. So looking forward to finishing that up. I also, I just got an email from our CEO. He basically told us that we're going to be working from home kind of indefinitely. Not really. That's not really what he said, but he said that we're going to start opening the offices back up, like doing a limited reopening when we get to the second phase of the government's three phase reopening plan. And to get to phase one, there needs to be 14 days of declining cases of COVID, obviously. For phase two, there needs to be 28 days. And then for phase three, there needs to be 42 days. So it's still gonna be a while. I don't think any states are declining yet. So still gonna be working from home for a while longer. <laughs> Man, isn't that something? <laughs> I honestly, I really don't mind the actual working from home part. I really don't. It's the fact that I can't go anywhere else that's bothering me. Working from home on its own, I actually don't mind it. I kind of like it. So, I don't know. But, yeah, now I'm going to get into this workout so that I can get it over with <laughs> and just get my blood pumping. <laughs> My gosh I'm sweating so much oh that was a brutal one I have no idea how Chloe does not look sweaty in her videos it is some kind of black magic I swear she never looks like she's breaking a sweat 
I don't, clearly that's not the case for me. This is disgusting, I'm sorry. I'm gonna stretch a little bit, shower, cool down, and get back to work. So, nothing else to see here right now. <laughs> okay, I texted Scott a little earlier and asked him if he was interested in doing more bleach tie-dyeing, and he said he was, so I'm gonna wait for him to get home to do that, but he, he'll be here in like an hour-ish, so I figured I could just get the stuff out or at least set it up. I have these two... So I have these two tank tops that I wanna tie-dye. This, They're just the exact same style. I used to have a ton of tank tops like, like this, just in a bunch of different colors, um, but I thought I, sh I could tie-dye a few of them. So I have this pink one and then I have this light gray one. This is kind of light, so I don't know how how much contrast there's really going to be between the actual color and the bleached color, but I'm very curious to find out. I haven't decided yet if I want to just do like random splotching bleach tie-dye pattern or if I want to do like a swirl on the pink one, or I was also thinking about doing just kind of like random not even bunching it up but just like spraying random splotches of bleach onto it if that makes any sense i might do that for the gray one i don't know haven't really decided yet but i just figured i'm going to get the stuff out for that so that we can be ready to go and get crafty whenever scott gets home and we're ready what do you think swirl or just random the thing is i like to tie this up so I don't know if swirl would look weird or cool. Like if I tried to do it where I tie it up, you think I should try that? I think that would look cool, okay. but I don't want to okay. be responsible. <laughs> if it doesn't look cool, it's your... No. <laughs> your call. Just wanted to give you a little update. I just switched over our tie-dye creations and put them in the dryer. I got a little peek at them as I was switching them out and I think they look really good. My gray tank top that I did, I don't think I did a very good job scrunching it. So there's more bleached parts than there is actually gray. There's still a little bit, but not very much. Still think it looks good though. Scott's two t-shirts that he did, I think they look really good. He did this technique where he really just put a rubber band, like one, a few rubber bands. I think the first one he did a little lower, he just kind of like cinched it right here. And then the second one he did a little higher so that he could get the sleeves. And then he totally bleached the bottom part of it. And then as he went up the shirt, he used less bleach, if that makes any sense, to kind of make it like a, a gradient and they look really, really good. And I'm excited to see them once they're finally done. But yeah, that's all that's going on right now. Scott went to pick up our dinner, and yeah, once the shirts are done, I will show you guys, I'm very excited. I think the pink one turned out pretty good too. I really wasn't seeing much color change with the bleach, but there's definitely a noticeable pa pattern, and I'm good with it. I like it. So, yay.
All right, so that's how our shirts turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna end it off here. Subscribe if you wanna see more from me and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.